Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is a you and them love reading, so this is going to be looking at your connection and the potential outcome. I'm going to get right into it. This will be, nope, this will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. What messages do you have for Pisces? Tell me about the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection spirit. Release your ex. The time has come to release your energy or clear your energy. Okay. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I'm also, I just heard manifesting. Sometimes I get that with that card. Almost like they're attracting something to them. What is going on in this connection? There could also be um, kind of a tie between you or some sort of bond between you. What are some mutual energies here? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Definitely something to do with manifesting here. Something's happening very soon in this connection. So let's see, I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that you can print at home. It's really affordable. It's available in my shop. If you're interested, link down below in the description box. I still am loving it. I'm thinking about making it into a physical deck. We'll see. All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces? Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What do we need to know about their energy? Mirrored souls. Soulmate, faded love, twin flame. You both mirror each other in this connection. Okay, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. So you feel like this person is your soulmate or it's just a very, like I said, very strong connection. Oh, I got two. Budding romance and time out. Timing, patience, waiting, time is of the essence and new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. So this person wants like new love with you or this could be someone new coming into your life, Pisces. Maybe this is someone you've been waiting for a long time. Tell me about the mutual energies in this connection. What is going on here for Pisces? Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There is regret over the past. Let me get one more. Can I get one more? Falling apart, destruction, broken ending, crumbling foundations have destroyed what once stood firm. So I feel like there was some sort of disconnect between you and this person. Something that someone feels guilty about or has regret over. Move this over here. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's figure out what the heck is going on here. Messages for Pisces, please. Now, Pisces, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. The energies can be vice versa. But to avoid confusion, this is Pisces for me over here. I feel like this is someone from your past. I have deep regret and release your ex. So someone that maybe you already had some sort of a connection with in the past. And I feel like your person wants to either start over or have something new with you. Or they're running out of an opportunity to approach you here. For Pisces spirit regarding love. Tell me about Pisces. What are their energies in this connection? Talk about Pisces, please. Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, there was definitely a separation. You could have even initiated this separation. Queen of Swords reversed. Maybe there was a fight or some sort of argument. Maybe you cut off communication or the other person did. 
the star reversed Aquarius energy and you felt like it was a hopeless situation. Maybe um, you gave up on this connection. Maybe it was too painful for you. Or you just weren't willing to deal with whatever it was that this person was giving you. Let me move these over. So tell me about Pisces. Um, the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? Page of coin reverse. Okay, so maybe they weren't able to commit to you or give you something here. Maybe they are taking too long to get their act together. Queen of wands reverse. Yikes, what is going on? Tempers flaring. <laughs> really hope that's not someone in the way. Nine of Wands reverse. Okay. So it's like you're both kind of ready to give up or are at the at, at your like breaking point here. Nine of Wands reverse could also be someone that's not dealing well with the situation health-wise. You know, it's affecting their health. Um, this could be somebody who maybe has had there's trust issues here doesn't trust anybody, has a hard time trusting other people. What's this? Sorry. Um, Queen of Wands reverse. This is an energy of someone that doesn't really care about how they affect others. Um, they kind of just want what they want and they don't really think about the consequences. What is going on in this connection? Tell me about the mutual energies here, please. Strength, Leo energy. Okay, ten of coin reverse, broken commitment, financial difficulty, family problems, six of cups, there's the past. Definitely we're dealing with someone from the past here with the six of cups. Past life connection or a soulmate type of connection, something happened here in the past. And with the Ten of Coin reverse, it makes sense to have falling apart up there. So let's clarify. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check out my other readings for Pisces or other placements in your chart if they are more prominent. But if it does resonate, leave me a comment down below and tell me how it's resonating for you because I love to hear from you. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. All right, let's see what's going on here. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. What is this Queen of Swords reverse about? Queen of Cups. So I feel like you still love this person or have a lot of emotions here tied to what was probably said or what someone, hmm. Okay, oh, that's way too many. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Okay. Ten of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse. So we got the Ten of Pentacles reversed again. So it's almost like someone ruined something and you still care about them. They, they could have been um, a big blowout here with the King of Wands reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. They tend to say things they can't take back. I don't know if this was you or this person. This could also have been someone that stepped outside of this connection. Tell me about the Star reverse. Why is the star reverse? The devil reverse. Capricorn energy there. Breaking free of an unhealthy attachment. You know what I'm seeing though? I'm seeing someone that hasn't been able to let this go. Maybe you've been wondering if this person's going to return with the eight of cups reverse, but it's like you're giving up hope on that. Yeah, there's possibly no communication but you're still kind of like waiting for something, maybe an apology or someone to talk to you. 
Tell me about this two of cups reverse. Ace of swords reverse. You want to talk about what happened. You want clarity on someone's departure. Okay, so let's see about your person over here. Why is the page of coin reverse? This is page of coin reverse. Whoa, that is way too many. Page, of, wow, okay. I feel like this person has done everything wrong in the sense of like how they're approaching this situation. Tell me about the page of coin reverse, please. Death card, Scorpio energy. Can I get one more? For the page of coin reverse. King of pentacles reverse. This person cannot give you something. Oh my gosh, and there's a three of cups reverse, judgment, wheel of fortune reverse. Can I get one more for the page of coin reverse? I feel like this was someone that couldn't commit and maybe they're trying to change or uh, transform something in their life. Well, I got two. Queen of swords and six of pentacles reverse. Six of wands reverse at the bottom. Queen of Swords. I feel like they have something to tell you. Maybe all they can do is communicate right now. But as far as committing to you, I just don't, I don't see them being able to do that. And I feel like there's some sort of imbalance here because this person is not able to give you what you can give them. Maybe the things ended between you because someone wasn't able to commit or give to this connection. Uh, King of Pentacles reverse for me could also be someone that's married or in another commitment. And you know, they might not be happy there, but they're still there. So I feel like this person can't even give you like a small offer with the page of coin reverse. Like they can't even ask you out. And with this Queen of Wands reverse, it could be that you're just upset. Let's see, why is this Queen of Wands reverse? Or it could be that they're, again, their approach is not the best. The Sun reverse, maybe because they're not being completely, excuse me, open. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse, please. Page of Pentacles reverse again. I feel like someone's just over it. The fact that, yeah, there's a lot of love here, but there's not nothing else. There's not much else. I feel like the other person's kind of just over it. Why is this Nine of Wands reverse? Okay. Six of Cups reverse. This person's stuck in the past as well. I feel like you're mirroring each other, literally. Mirrored souls. You're both in the same boat here. Tell me more about Nine of Wands reverse. This person hasn't been able to let go of the past either. There's a Nine of Wands reverse again, a whole different deck. There's the timing card and the magician manifesting. I told you. Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. They're trying to make something happen here. They're trying to bring something together that has to do with the past. And it's like they need time. And this, you know, I have the Ten of Wands at the bottom. So it's like it has to do with some sort of burden. But they're taking their time. Like they're taking their time to make this happen. You know? What's behind this? Wow, tower. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Letting go of a burden is gonna cause a tower for your person. A big blow up, something unexpected here. So why is strength here? Why is strength here? Knight of Swords, Emperor energy. We're getting a lot of major arcanas. Aries energy with Emperor. 
which means like major shifts in energy here. There's major things going on. I feel like this emperor, now this is mutual energy, so you're both here. I feel like this emperor just wants to get to the bottom of a situation. They want to take charge of the situation that with the Knight of Swords reverse is like there's something they don't know, they're not clear about. I have the star reversed again at the bottom. This could be you. Why is the Ten of Coin reversed? You just kind of just want to just be clear. Like, let's just be clear. Let's just, you know, you're either in or you're out. <laughs> Why is the Ten of Coin reversed? Page of Cups reverse. Whatever happened between you was very heartbreaking. Um, it's like almost like a shot, like a dream was shattered. But someone's getting over that. Or it could be that they're not getting over that and they're still holding on with the Nine of Swords reverse. Maybe even having like a mental breakdown. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny, but sometimes that happens. This could have been so painful. And again, with the Page of Wands reverse, it's like someone here cannot give you even the smallest thing. I don't have a Knight here. I don't have, I have a Knight of Swords reverse. Oh, there's the Knight of Wands. So, and then the Queen of Wands reverse. There's chemistry, there's attraction. But I feel like someone's not even talking about it or is able to even like communicate this. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Queen of Wands reverse again. Be very careful because these two, this is trouble. <laughs> Knight of Wands and Queen of Wands reverse. This is trouble. This is people that kind of like jump in without looking. And they cause conflict. I feel like whatever happened here with the Ten of Coin reverse, maybe it was so bad that the other person is scared to approach. Why is the Six of Cups here? Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, something happened in the past. Your person has a Queen of Wands reverse that caused the disconnect. Five of Pentacles. There's a, 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 um, a, what's the word? Page of Swords. You're watching each other, but you're not talking is what I'm getting. Eight of Swords reverse. You're watching each other on social media or online or something like that, but you're not, you're paying attention to the, what the other is doing, but you're not really communicating. I have like every page on the board right now. I feel like someone's going back and forth about talking. Maybe they're breaking out of their fear in order to get rid of this burden, something they've been holding on to. And I'm also like, it's like whatever happened between you, something fell apart, someone has regret over it. Um, but I feel like you both still care about each other. I have a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups upright on either side. But I have the King of Wands reverse on your side and the Queen of Wands reverse on their side. So it's like no action, no courage, no um, making po po potential mistakes. There's also two kings reversed on this side. So there could be an, an extra person, a third person here. I don't know what your person's working on or manifesting. Let's find out here. Why is the magician here? Whatever this is, it's gonna happen very soon. Why is the magician here? Yeah, there's like um, an impatience and delays. The person that wants to do this wants to do this quick, but there's delays. Why is the magician here? What are they trying to manifest? Okay, well, that's a lot. But it was the Six of Swords. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for the magician? Okay. Hmm. 
Wow, three of swords at the bottom, reverse. Someone wants to leave a situation. This person's thinking about leaving a situation due to heartbreak. It's like they're motivated by heartbreak or disappointment. Maybe there there's a lot of drama where they're at or a situation where there's no love. This could be a third party. But someone, like this person's thinking about just leaving. Like maybe they're thinking about manifesting um, a return to you or just coming to see you. But I feel like they're delayed because I have the full reverse and the three of wands reverse. This is like impatient energy, missing the boat, still needing to plan because there's mistakes that have been made because someone's impatient. The full reverse, this is someone that could be a little bit naive, reckless, which leads to mistakes, which leads to delays. So I feel like your person's delayed there. So let's look at the potential outcome here. Now what I'm doing for these sets of videos, I'm pulling three cards here for the potential outcome. And then I'm gonna clarify them, clarify the outcome in the extended. I'm gonna be looking at your person's true intentions. And I'm also gonna be pulling some of my secret moon oracles to see what they're secretly thinking or feeling and then getting finally some advice from spirit. So if this is resonating for you, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it's resonating and check out the extended if you'd like. The link is in the description box below this video. All right, potential outcome in the near future for Pisces, please. Potential outcome in the near future for Pisces. Potential outcome, please. In the near future for Pisces and this other person. Seven of Wands, okay. Queen of Swords, okay. That's That was on your person's side, yep. Okay. Some sort of communication. Someone's um, standing up for what they believe in, fighting back, facing the opposition, having courage here with the Seven of Wands. Can I get one more? Potential outcome for Pisces, please. Seven of Swords. I'm hoping this has to do with strategy. Oh, of course not. Of course I have the Knight of Swords reversed <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Six of Cups. Again with the Six of Cups. Now, Knight of Swords reverse, they tend to just be very blunt to the point of terrible communicators. Sometimes they don't tell the whole truth. It could also mean that your person is blocked from sending a message to you and so they're trying to be strategic here. I feel like this is about all about communication, a conversation that's taking place with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she means business. She's going to be direct to the point, no BS. Her boundaries are strong. I feel like that's why this person's like gaining courage. I feel like there's two people here. It's like the Seven of Wands is getting ready to face this Queen of Swords. And they're trying to be strategic about it. Maybe they're going to try to avoid certain parts of the conversation. Or um, maybe they will... I don't know. It's almost like I'm getting this, this energy of someone talking to you about what happened in the past. But it's in a very positive way, you know. And you're over here like, what are you talking about? It was a, it was a mess. It was terrible. <laughs> um that kind of energy, someone that's kind of sweet talking you. So be very careful about that. We'll see in the extended what that Seven of Swords is all about. But with the Knight of Swords reverse, I feel like there's something here. And I think it's related to the past with the Six of Cups. Behind that, I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So I don't think this person is going to really be giving you much is, you know, or something where they're not giving you what you want is what I'm picking up on there. But at least communication will take place. So that's a start. All right, Pisces, I'll leave it there. 
I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel for free, then just hit the like button and subscribe. That really helps the channel grow. It shows other people the videos and they can find out about the channel and see if these readings resonate for them. Thank you to everyone who already does that. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.